Oftentimes people don't recognize the power that comes to you when you're taking care of your prophet, when you're assisting your man of God. God built this system of helping your man of God to bring you to the next degree of favor. The next degree of favor, not only with that man of God, but with people that you would meet. A lot of times you'll meet people that the angels of the Lord will speak to their heart to give you opportunities. The angel of the Lord will speak to their heart to give you favor. And that favor is the channel in which God uses to change the course of your life. That means bring you to greater levels of provision, protection. Oftentimes, there is a grace and there's a glory that God works through when you're taking care of your prophet that brings you into the graces of favor, the graces of finances the graces of increase. A lot of times people don't see that how God takes you into your next level, your next season, is all through a financial responsibility that he'll give to you towards your profit, a loyalty, helpfulness, assistance, attendance, servanthood. While you're there, you're delivering your soul from temptation. When you serve your prophet, God delivers you from temptations. Things that you would normally be weak to, he'll give you power over those things. The reason why we don't see Elisha, Elisha wasn't a homosexual. Think about it. Elisha wasn't on drugs, but Elisha was serving Elijah. Elisha was not broke. Elisha was not sick. But what was he doing? Serving Elijah. Now we know at the course of uh, Elisha's life later on, things were different. But I'm saying when he was serving Elijah. If we look at the life of Joshua, Joshua is not broke. He's not in sin. He's not sick. He's not defeated. But he's serving Moses. When you are helping your prophet of God, you're taking on the spirit of might where you become mighty on earth. The Lord takes your life into the glories of assistance. He helps you. He breaks the yokes that followed your generational bloodline. And he sets you apart from things that everybody else struggled with. He changes your story. There are many benefits when you take care of your prophet of God. Many people don't see that. Oftentimes they enter into a place where they're not focused. They lose hope. They lose attentiveness. And as a result of that, when that happens, you can't fulfill the ministry that God gives to you. You can't fulfill the ministry that God has anointed you to do towards that prophet. Because now Satan is using something to tear a hole in your mantle. Let me just say this for a couple minutes. There is an anointing that God gives you specifically to bring pleasure to your prophet. If you don't use that anointing, it will become perverted. When that anointing becomes perverted, you will spend your body, your time, your finances in other people, other places and other things. And you'll forfeit what God had anointed you to complete in that prophet's life. A lot of times you can't discern that Satan is sneaking up into your life through people, through mindsets, through imaginations. And as a result of that, you start having a tear in your mantle. When Satan tears your mantle, here's what happens. Even though the prophet anointed you to do something that will benefit him and push his vision, something else will be distracting it. Someone else will be distracting it. Another lifestyle will creep in that's adversarial to what the prophet taught you. And when that goes on, now you have demons around you that you can't see. So you wonder why I don't want to listen to prophet. Why I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to hear that you offended, but you don't understand those demons accumulate when you don't use the mantle that the prophet gives to you for him. If Elisha didn't use the mantle, if it had tears in his mantle, 
if it if he had a war a torn mantle he would not have been able to help elijah you know why because that torn mantle means that satan could speak to his heart and satan could pit other streams of thoughts that create this interest towards the will of the lord to help elijah joshua protected his mantle and you see the enemy doesn't have any power over joshua that's why joshua comes up in his destiny defeats the powers of the enemy wins battles at ai wins battles all over the place and he's the one that takes the children of israel into their destiny the reason why because he didn't let his mantle be torn i can also say this um the life of uh dr mike murdoch to this day dr mike murdoch have been through hell he has been through things that if you are an enemy to him, it's easy for you to manifest and beat him up on. I never beat Dr. Mike Murdoch up, never came to him with accusation, never fought him and told him what he's going through is because of thus and thus, not one time, because I never let a tear be in my mantle. Even when he asked me hard questions about his situation. Never rebuked him and told him, hey, you, you, you know, you know, da, 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 da. I found space to push him. Now, Dr. Mike Murdoch is alive. How you go from a brain tumor to a shrink brain tumor? Think about it. How you go from lifeless to energy? How you go from about to die to alive and well. Remember, the man of God already has people that hate him. Remember, the prophet of God already has people that want to tear him to pieces. Why, after goodness come to you, would you let the enemy recruit you to be evil rather than good? How about you take on the mindset of the mantle that you have been given and say, let me be there for my prophet. Has he ever cursed me? Has he ever left me or forsaken me? Has he been faithful to teach me the word, to give me wisdom, to give me inspiration? Why not? I become something to his life that changes his life. You never have to fight for a man of God's attention. Just use the mantle that he has given to you and he'll pay attention to you. Oftentimes, men of God have to turn their back on people. You know why? Because men of God are holy. A man of God can't stand watching somebody worship Satan after that man of God gives you a mantle to destroy the works of the devil. A man of God can't stand to watch people bow their knee to Satan after they have spent time pushing that person's soul to the next degree of liberty and power. So men of God can't just watch. They have to guard their heart. But men of God, are all, your man of God is always there for you. And they're always teaching you. And if you notice, they're always in the position to give you more grace and more power.